Hey there, game developers. Want to boost your Unity game performance? In this video, we'll cover some essential optimization tips to help you reduce memory usage and speed up your game. Let's dive in. Read Write Enabled Have you noticed the Read Write Enabled option in your model or texture import settings? This option is crucial when you want to modify meshes or textures during runtime through scripts. By default, Unity keeps a second copy of the mesh or texture data in memory to allow runtime modifications. But if you're not changing these assets at runtime, unchecking this option can save significant memory. Avoid unnecessary animation data. Did you know Unity automatically imports animation data with FBX models, even if you don't need it? This can increase the file size unnecessarily. If your model doesn't require animation, go to Import Settings, then under the Re tab, set animation type to None. This prevents Unity from generating unused animation data, reducing project size. Disable Generate Colliders Ever wondered if you should check the Generate Colliders option when importing models? While it might seem convenient, Enabling this option adds mesh colliders to every mesh, which can be expensive to process in Unity's physics engine. Instead, use simpler colliders like box or sphere colliders whenever possible to improve performance. Generate lightmap UVs wisely. Lightmap UVs are crucial when baking lighting onto your static objects. However, enabling this option for non-static objects can introduce unnecessary vertex data, bloating your assets. Only enable, generate light map ofs for objects that will use baked lighting. Reduce model size Model size plays a crucial role in performance. Most of the file size comes from the number of vertices and faces in the model. To optimize, remove any unnecessary vertices and faces in your 3D modeling software, such as Blender or Maya. This will speed up import times and reduce memory usage. Use unlit shaders for simple objects. For simple objects that don't need lighting effects, try using unlit shaders. They offer the fastest rendering performance by completely bypassing lighting calculations, making them ideal for objects that don't need to react to light sources like basic geometric shapes, UI elements, or flat textures, thus improving overall frame rate, particularly on lower-end devices. These shaders are much less taxing on the GPU because they don't need to calculate lighting and shadows. For UI elements or basic 3D objects that don't interact with lighting, unlit shaders are a quick way to boost performance. Generate MIP maps for textures. Let's talk about MIP maps. In Unity, Generate MIP Maps for Textures is a feature that automatically creates downsampled versions of textures. These downsampled versions, called MIP Maps, are used when a texture is rendered at a lower resolution than its full resolution. In short, MIP Maps are lower resolution versions of your textures that Unity can use when objects are far away from the camera. Always generate MIP Maps for textures in 3D games. This improves performance by reducing memory usage and preventing texture aliasing when objects are viewed from a distance. Combine meshes for static objects. Here's a simple tip. If you have static objects that do not move in your scene, combine meshes whenever possible. Static objects don't need to be handled individually during rendering. By grouping them together, Unity can draw them in fewer batches, saving a ton of performance. Remember, Unity's static batching feature automatically combines meshes for static objects, so use that to your advantage. Use object pooling for repeated models. Object pooling is a game changer. If you have repeating models in your scene, like enemies or bullet, don't keep instantiating and destroying them repeatedly. Object pooling allows you to reuse objects, which minimizes memory allocation and garbage collection overhead. It's especially useful for enemies, bullets, and other dynamically generated objects. Use compressed audio files. Audio files also impact your game's performance, especially on mobile platforms. Convert your audio files to compressed formats like MP3 or OGG instead of using large WAV files. 
This reduces memory usage and speeds up load times without sacrificing too much sound quality. Limit the number of materials per model. Having too many materials on a single model can cause Unity to perform more draw calls than necessary, which slows down rendering. Whenever possible, try to merge materials into a single texture or material. This minimizes the overhead and helps with batch rendering, keeping your game performance smooth. Enable GPU instancing for repeated materials. Do you have many objects using the same material in your scene? Enable GPU instancing in Unity's material settings. This allows Unity to draw multiple instances of an object with the same material in a single batch, reducing draw calls and improving performance when you have many identical objects in the scene, like trees or rocks. And there you have it. We have covered some optimization tips to make your Unity projects more efficient. If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, feel free to buy me a coffee at the link in description. It helps keep the content coming and allows me to improve and create even more awesome tutorials for you. See you in the next video.